Hey everybody, Chris Collier here from Biloxi, Mississippi, giving you five things to help you get a jump start um, on your social media marketing. You may have these things, you may not, um, depending on how big your, your business is. Uh, this is a small business expo, um, so I just want to give you some things that will help you um, just be great, because why do something and be bad at it, right? So if you're not doing these things, I would suggest you integrate what you're doing, uh, these steps with what you're doing. There'll be a list of things you need. You need a logo, social media headers, a blog, a customer relationship manager, an autoresponder, and a cell phone with a decent camera, a desire to get better every day, and a willingness to be trained. Now, if you have these things, great. Just We'll go to step one, probably step two. Um, but if you don't, you can go to the following places and get them. A blog and CRM, you can email me and I can give you a few different spots. Um, for the blog, GoDaddy, um, Bluehost, um, there, there's a tons of places we can get uh, WordPress hosting. A CRM, a little bit more difficult. People pay uh, anywhere from $200 to $500 a month uh, for a customer relationship manager. Um, autoresponders, you can get from AWeber, uh, MailChimp, Infusionsoft. It just depends on what your budget is and how much you want to spend. Um, if you don't have social media headers or logos, uh, the logos I'd recommend Fiverr or um, uh, LogoNerds.com. Social media headers, um, once you get your logo, um, then I would probably head over to um, Fiverr.com and get that taken care of. They can do that for you. You can shrink and, and, and um, you can shrink and um, make them bigger depending on which social media platform you on. Now it's also say you so that help that, that hopefully that answers any questions. If you have any questions, you can email me at Chris at the Chris um, for this. Day number one or step number one. You want to be sure that you're set up. Make sure your blog set up, your social media pro profiles are set up as a business or a fan page of a business. You want to make sure that you're not necessarily mentioning anything you've got going on uh, and that you're not mentioning your business or your sales or anything like that you want to build value by giving them different tips and things we'll get into that in a minute make sure that your fan page is set up on Facebook make sure your Twitter feed set up make sure all this stuff set up um, it's pretty easy and if you have any problems um, you can go to YouTube and uh, search it there and get that information or you can also contact me and I'll be glad to walk you through it um, another thing you need to do is make sure the, the, the these are the following things the main ones you need set up you need a Twitter account Pinterest Instagram YouTube Facebook with a Facebook fan page for your business a separate page you have to use a separate page for your business because if not you, you can go to Facebook jail and you don't well, we don't want that to happen to you and then on the last but not least actually the most important thing is a blog <clears throat> you gotta have a blog there's some other social media things out, but I'm just trying to get you uh, set up. You also want to make sure your Google Plus, you have a Google Plus um, going on. So you get all that set up, and you can, there's videos on how to how to. Um, if you want to create your own um, social media um, header, you can go to Canva, C A N V A. Dot com and they have a lot of stuff there if you, you want to play around with it a little bit and make it something that you want to do that's fine too save you a little bit of money um, once you get that set up then what I would suggest you do now if you're a non techie person pay someone to do it it'll be well worth it um, there are people on Fiverr that can set up uh, your blog there are people on Fiverr now I'm not endorsing the people on there sometimes you get uh, bad service but just go through and figure you can figure out based upon reviews who's good and who's not okay um, once you create a fan uh, a, your blog your fan page on Facebook um, your Instagram your Pinterest your uh, Twitter uh, I'm gonna add another one LinkedIn and Google Plus you're set for day number one we'll just call that day number one everything's set up everything's ready to go your blog set up everything's ready to go once again if you need anything set up if you have any questions don't be afraid to email me or uh, 
contact me. Now, what you want to do on day two, once you got everything set up, and even if you don't have everything set up, make sure you get your Facebook fan page set up. That's the first um, major thing in your blog. What you want to do, your strategy is go into groups. So if there's a Biloxi business group or a Jackson City um, business group or wherever you're from, or the county, um, Hancock County, Harrison County, whatever county you're in, if there's a county business group, you want to become a part of that um, and get permission. And then you keep just dropping nuggets of value. And when I say value, I want to be clear because a lot of people will be like, I don't understand. I don't have anything to offer. I don't understand how this internet marketing thing works. Value is very simply put. Um, let, let's say you do tires. Five, t five reasons why you don't want to buy used tires. Five reasons why tires are important. One thing never to do with a tire. You know, those, those type of things. Um, the five best tire brands. The five most economical tire brands. If you're doing tires, that's great. Um, or if you're doing dry cleaning, five things you never should do to your laundry. Five things that um, a dry cleaner does that you can't get done anywhere else. Um, the number one thing you should never do with your shirt when it's dirty. Those are just some things. So whatever your market is, whatever your niche is, you can do these little bleeps, little blogs, if you will. Now, what you want to do is there's two ways to do um, your Facebook post. Um, you can do your blog post, which is going to be that five things to do, five things not to do, one thing never to do, the, what's the best, what's the worst, a review of a product, whatever the case may be. That's going to be your full thing. You can take an excerpt and put that on Facebook. Uh, a line or two and put it on t Twitter with a picture. Um, same with Pinterest and Instagram. So you see you're, you're building a um, syndication network, if you will. And um, with that, now you're reaching out. And you want to have links that bring everyone back to your blog. That's just the bottom line. So whatever your, your blog post is, so let's just say um, f five reasons tires are important is your blog post so it'd be blah 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 blah, blah dot com forward slash uh, blog probably forward slash five reasons tires are important and you just copy and paste that or you can get a link shortener at bitly uh, or any of those type of things and um, it'll shorten the link Google has one as well it's called a link shortener and you can t paste your long link in there and give you a shorter link. And when doing that is, people come visit your website, but you give them a little excerpt just to get them hungry, just to get them thirsty about what you're offering. And then once they get to your website, you've got gold because they've been to your website. And if you're doing that all the time, it'll be, um, it'll help you grow your business. So what you also you want to do on this day is start joining, like I said, you want to start joining groups. You can put your post in the groups. Your post, you just, um, not the whole post, the excerpt you share on your Facebook fan page, you want to put into the groups that have allowed you to join as just an offer of value to people that link back to the website, to your blog. So that ends day number two, actually. Day number three, continue the strategies that you've been doing, but now make sure you get a picture with your blog post. Having a graphic in there is great. You can find all sorts of free videos, um, I'm sorry, free pictures on the internet. Use Google search. There's a lot of free pictures. Um, another thing you want to do is before you post your blog, you want to create a YouTube video. When you create this YouTube video, you want it to be similar to the um, excerpt you're going to put on Facebook. So now instead of doing an excerpt on Facebook, you can do a YouTube video, right? And you share the YouTube video on your Facebook fan page, on your in your Facebook group. Every day, you should be finding three to five new groups to join. You want to continue that process every day. This should take you an hour or two every day. This is going to be huge down the line because when the payoff starts coming, it's going to come in like a flood. And after a while, 
and people will say, well, you know, it's not that big a deal right now just because of where we are and what state we live in and what city we live in. But in five, ten years, you might have a corner on the market because people are becoming more and more uh, progressive with their technology. So right now is the best time to take advantage of it. So create a, a nice little video, upload it to YouTube, have it saved, and then you share that link in your Facebook fan page. Share that um, link um, in all your Facebook groups. And when you do that, it will auto-populate a picture, a thumbnail, if you will, of the video. And then you also want to embed it into your blog. And then you want to, when you're doing the posts on Facebook, uh, fan page and the Facebook groups you're a part of you also want to include a link back to your website so they'll come to your website because at the end of the day you want them at your website now once you get to this point you've really got your whole marketing strategy pretty much laid out there's some other things um, we'll get to in just a minute but I want to say you want to figure out what your um, go to Facebook ads and get a f and, and set up an ad. Don't run it, but then find your Facebook ad pixel. It's just a code. It's nothing really complicated. You want to take that out and copy it, paste it. Um, don't cut it. Just copy it. And you want to take that out and go back to your um, blog and find a place where it asks for a Facebook tracking pixel and put it in. Every WordPress website is a little bit different, um, so. If you're not techie and you don't want to do it, there's people who will do it. If you have any questions, you can call me, uh, email me. I'll be glad to follow up with you. But you get this pixel, and this is what happens. You ready? You automatically start tracking. So if you ever, when you're ready to run ads on Facebook, it will track everybody that's been to your website and make them part of a custom audience. So you're not spending money on people that don't want what you're offering. Makes sense, right? Why target people? Why market to people who are not interested in what you have? Well, these people have some level of interest because they have already come to your website. They already have followed you. They already have wanted the value that you've put out. So at the end of the day is this helps you track the people that you're trying to get. So if I told you that gives you 100% marketing entrance because they already like what you have they've already been to your website maybe only for a second but that means they're more likely to come back and and typically in in um internet marketing in uh social media marketing the more people visit the more likely they're to buy from you so the next day is once you continue those strategies you've got to continue posting a blog you got to continue three to five facebook groups a day and if you want to do people, that's fine too. If you find people you want, make sure you put, when, when you try to befriend them, find a com, area of common, common interest. So that way, when those common interests um, you can talk about. Or if they have a daughter graduating from high school and you have a daughter graduating from high school, you can comment on that. Um, things like that. Now, once you've created video to go with your blog, video is really great because it is the highest level of interaction on social media other than actual face-to-face -face, you know it's the best thing we can do so you want to continue these strategies how long every day and if you don't want to do it every day do it one to three times a week so that is um, my presentation I hope I've added some value if you want particular videos on how to set up your YouTube or Anything like that, you can email me at chris at thechriscollier.com. Thank you.